I'm Scott Allen Miller and it is the 4th of September 2024. We are still here in Buenos Aires in Argentina and today we had to get new towels because we're staying at the Airbnb for so long. So someone stopped by in the morning at the apartment to just bring us new towels. We had to wait a little bit for that. Not a big deal. We enjoyed the fact that we had no reason to get up and get out of the apartment. So we slept in a little bit and then we had a bit of an apartment morning. But then we decided that today was going to be the day we were going to take the yellow Buenos Aires bus around the city, which gives us an easy day. Like you just go sit on the bus, enjoy it. That's one of the reasons that we like doing it is after a bit of travel. Now we've waited a bit to do the bus, but in general you, you get to do, there's so much, if you hear the cheering, there is a sports arena right in the middle of this block. I'm gonna show it right here. This giant building right here. There is a sporting event going on there all day long, every single day. It's nuts. So we've been hearing this cheering continuously. It never stops. Uh, and for, for over a week, like it's in late, late, late at night, three o'clock in the morning, you'll still hear it right now. It's like eight, nine in the morning, still going on. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, be, you know, being able to sit on the bus and get to see a bunch of things and, and feel really accomplished and, and get to see the city, but also get a chance to like regenerate and chill. It's very good and, and know that you're not gonna be interrupted, right? And and the buses have power on them. So if you need to charge a phone, just make sure you get a USB plug. Uh, you have headphones, so you're listening to a tour. Um, there's a lot of things to take pictures of. So it's pretty great. And if you plan for that well, you can really, you know, you could spend the day on the bus, ride it a couple times, just take tons of pictures, charge devices, really set up and, and have a thing. I almost think you should have a bag. If you're planning on really doing it, have a bag that like can sit on the floor, you can plug in and charge everything from there uh, so we did that the bus actually took way longer we were thinking it would be like an hour and a half maybe two hours but it was like three and a half hours so it was a long ride but it was easy for us we walked from uh, our house right over our apartment and it turns out because we're on Paraguay we go straight down Paraguay there was the bus it was so easy uh, so it was just like three blocks away we had no idea we were close to it so that part worked out incredibly well hopped on the bus um, and rode it and then it was pretty late in the day, like the sun was actually going down by the time the bus was done. We couldn't believe it. I mean, it wasn't that late. It was probably like 4, 4.30, but it was really amazing um, just how much of our day that took, but the bus ride was good. We enjoyed it, saw a bunch of stuff. I got tons of footage, uh, so all that worked out really well. And uh, then we tried to go to Distrito Arcos for dinner and walked all around it and found just no food we were interested in at all. So we walked down on Godoy a bit and found, um, I think it's called Veganas. It's a vegan cafe. That was excellent. We really enjoyed that. One of the few meals that really stood out as being quite good here in Buenos Aires. And, uh, and then headed back and kind of made it a chill evening uh, at the house once the sun went down. We're really struggling with the times that people do things here. People eat dinner so late, they uh, uh, just, everything has shifted so much. Uh, partially because of the time zone, uh, that it makes it very hard for us to go to like formal dinner and stuff. We're just operating at weird hours and we're not here long enough to really adjust to the times. Uh, my kids would already be pre-adjusted because they go to bed so late and get up so early that if you took three hours off of that, they'd be pretty much in line with Argentina. But for us, this is throwing us way off. We're normally up at like six or seven in the morning, our time. Here, people don't generally get up until like an hour or two later than that plus they're three hours ahead. So the time shift in life, sunlight is only three hours for us, but in life is like five or six. It's basically like going to Europe. And so we're, we're getting jet lagged uh, in a way. Uh, and uh, so we're just kind of off on that. So we called it uh, early evening, but I have tons of uploads to do and I have tons of videos to work on and stuff. So it's not like I'm not doing anything, I'm staying busy. Plus I'm working at the office during the day a little bit. So. It's uh, uh, good that we have some time in the apartment. We're not here to do like a major filming marathon and we're not here to be like on some special trip. We're here for the wedding. So we have some time to enjoy it. We don't have to do something every second of every day. If we don't want to, uh, it's, it's a chance for Dominic and I to get away and hang out and have some time to ourselves. Although we really are missing the kids and the dogs and we're looking forward to getting back as well. Next time we come to Argentina, we're definitely bringing the kids with us. Both we say that and the kids say that. They are very much looking forward to checking out the city um, and the the cafe culture and people watching and the the whole just being able to hang out in the city and have some cooler weather stuff like this is very good for them Liesl is going to find this very cold if we don't come back at a warm time of year but uh, so that was our day on the fourth I'll see all of you tomorrow